Hey guys, thanks for joining me today and welcome back. I hope you all are doing very well today. So today I'm going to show you how I'm going to create some very unique mercury glass effect on these vases. One I picked up from the Dollar Tree and the other one is from my local thrift store. So I'm going to get started. So I'm going to be using some platinum colored paint, high shine paint. I'm going to be using these sea sponges today and you can pick up your sea sponges at the Dollar Tree as well. So I'm just going to start by cleaning off the glass. So with the sea sponge and the paint, I'm going to apply a very little bit of paint to the sponge and I'm going to scrape it off. We only need a little for this effect. Now press it lightly and move it around the glass to cover the whole glass. Again, with that same technique, just press it on the glass very lightly. What this is going to do is create a very light airy effect. So I'm going to do that until the glass is completely covered. And as you can see, it's starting to look like a mercury glass effect. So I'm just going to keep applying it lightly. I'm going to go over some of the areas that I've already sponged over and then I'm going to let that completely dry. So it dries very quickly guys, maybe about like 20 minutes is all you need. I'm going to apply a second application. The holes in the sponge is going to help create the lacy airy effect that mercury glass has. After that to dry, I'm going to use a clean dry sponge. I'm going to spray a little alcohol on the sponge and I'm going to do the same process. But this time the alcohol is going to help lift some of the paint off the glass, creating a mercury glass effect. Now if you find yourself taking off too much paint, just take your sponge that has the paint on it and just kind of just press it over any areas that you want to correct. So going back in with the sponge and the alcohol, I'm going to, going to keep going around the glass until it looks nice and lacy. So now I'm going to start working on the glass that I picked up from my thrift store. And this glass is a little bit easier to see the technique. You can see you just press lightly, press lightly and you'll see some of the shape of the sponge as you press it on. This is a really beautiful effect guys. It does look like mercury glass. It's absolutely beautiful. So after I finish this first application, I'm going to let it dry for about 20 minutes and then I'm and do the process again. So the next thing I'm going to do is use this bling wrap that I picked up from Amazon and I'm going to use this as decoration today. So I'm just going to fold that over and I do it this way because it's easier to cut. I'm going to fold it over. I'm going to score it a little bit and then I'm going to cut away a few strips. Thank you. 
So now that the first vase is dry, I'm going to apply the bling wrap that I just cut. And guys, look, both bases are finished. It looks absolutely beautiful. It looks beautiful in natural lighting. I hope you can see the lacy mercury glass effect that this has. It's not traditional mercury glass, but this does look like mercury glass. And we did it today without using any vinegar. Some people use vinegar to spray away some of the paint, but today I just used a sponge and some alcohol. And it came out absolutely beautiful. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I do appreciate it. And please don't forget to thumbs up this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. So you stay well, stay safe, and stay blessed. And I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye.